They used any means necessary to convict him. That's what attorneys are saying about several law enforcement outfits in northwest Indiana. James Hill has had two convictions overturned because authorities failed to share critical evidence during his trial. And as CBS 2's Chris Ty tells us, he is now seeking damages for the decades he spent behind bars. It is a story you will only see on two. It's over 20 years of my life been taken away for something I didn't do. And it's hard. It's really hard. Police believe the Chevy and Paolo. Prosecutors convinced a jury that James Hill was the getaway car driver in the 1980 murder of a Hammond police officer at this Hammond hotel. But he spent the bulk of his prison time put away on a different case, a 1980 rape conviction. In both cases, Hill says he was innocent, and in both cases, he was later exonerated. Prosecutors in both cases violated what's known as the Brady Rule, failing to give his defense team evidence at the time of trial that would have been helpful to their side. In a lawsuit filed this week against the cities of Hammond, Valparaiso, Griffith, and others, as well as the Northwest Indiana Major Crimes Task Force and several individual officers, Hill's lawyers argue these cities and police departments created and maintained a policy or practice of deliberate indifference to the constitutional rights of citizens by failing adequately to train and supervise and discipline its police officers, arguing officers used any means necessary to secure a conviction. They deliberately fail to turn over what they're obliged to turn over. That's why it's called due process. It's process that's due you. I was a 17-year-old kid. I'll be 60, and this is basically still not over. This hotel where that police officer was murdered has been rebranded in the 40 years since James Hill was first arrested. And in a very real way, his life has been rebuilt. Now a grandfather, fully exonerated and out of prison for 16 months, he's now asking a jury to determine what he is owed for those years behind bars. And he's demanding those cities that wronged him change their policies so this never happens again. In Hammond, Chris Ty. CBS 2 News. Chris, thank you. We did reach out to a number of the cities and the police agencies named in that suit. They did not respond to our request for comment.